guys, Genesee Area Library here. So on Monday, we received something really exciting at the library. We have some painted lady caterpillars that will eventually turn into some painted lady butterflies. Now I've been taking videos, short little ones, every day since we've gotten them to track their progress. And you're going to be able to follow along when they're all said and done. You can stop in at the library, pick up an info sheet, pick up an observation sheet, and you can track their progress too and learn all about the life cycle of a butterfly. And when we're ready to release these butterflies, I'll let you guys know and then maybe you can stop down at the library and help me release them. So enjoy their growth, enjoy watching them, and I can't wait to see you guys. Bye! These tiny, tiny little dots that you see are caterpillar eggs. When we zoom in closer, we can see that they are sphere-shaped and about the size of a pinhead. Three to five days later, those eggs hatch into tiny, tiny caterpillars. It'll take these guys about 10 days to grow and pupate or form their chrysalis. So our painted ladies arrived today and it looks like we have two up here that I'm already attached. We'll have to check them out later, see if they're actually forming their chrysalis or not. But these two little guys down here are both moving down there. And this little guy right here. And we're going to continue to watch them grow and see how they do. See how our little dude is in a J shape? That means he's getting ready to wrap himself up tight in his chrysalis. Our other little guys, they're still hanging out and eating. They'll climb up there soon. Come back for more. Well, one of our little guys is active today. Crawling along the cup there. And we still have ooh, our one little guy up there in a J. Slowly forming his chrysalis. You can catch him moving every once in a while. And got another little guy down in there. And you can't quite see him, but there is one more right there up top. And I don't, he's been hanging out there the last two days. I don't know if he's getting ready to attach and form his chrysalis or if he's just hanging out. Well, we'll check back again tomorrow. All right, guys. So this is day five of receiving our caterpillars. And you can see this top guy in the corner there. He is almost fully encased in his chrysalis. And it must have happened someday yesterday when I was out because Wednesday there wasn't anybody up top here. We have another guy hanging on in a J shape. That means he's getting ready to form his chrysalis over here on the right hand side. And one of our caterpillars did fall off. He's sitting down there in the muck, but he's just about in his chrysalis too. So when we go to transfer them over into the butterfly habitat, hopefully he will still hatch. Stay tuned for the next one. All right, so it is day six. You can see that two little guys are almost fully encased in their chrysalis. We have another one that kind of fell off um, at some point, but I'm hoping that when we put them into the butterfly habitat, he'll still be okay. Um, but like I said, they are hanging in their chrysalis. See them both? I know it's a little difficult to see. 
but pretty soon there'll be butterflies. It's going to take about three days for our chrysalis to fully harden, and from there, they'll head on into the butterfly habitat, and about a week later, they're going to turn into painted lady butterflies. So make sure you guys stop in this week and grab an info sheet and an observation sheet, and then you can reference this video whenever you want to, to make your observations and watch the caterpillars form their chrysalis and then become butterflies. Part two will be coming soon, so keep a lookout for it. Bye!